Welcome to Laptop Radio. Today's topic is regenerative medicine and vitruvia. And we have Gerald Mazzioli with us. Hello, Gerald. How are you? Hi, Michelle. It's great to talk to you today. Awesome. Where are you located? Uh, I'm based in Raleigh, North Carolina. Awesome. I love North Carolina. I am in California. So let's begin with telling us your story. Sure. My name is Jerry Massioli. By training, an intensivist and anesthesiologist. I practiced in Raleigh, North Carolina for 27 years, spending half my time running a 40-bed mixed intensive care unit, and the other half of my time as an operating room anesthesiologist. That was a great first era in my career for 27 years, but I took one of my old mentors' advice and it's time to reinvent myself. Over the course of being in my practice and leadership roles, I got an MBA. And when I left my practice, I went to a company called Ansurge Sheridan that then merged with MCARE to become Envision Healthcare, where I was the chief quality officer overseeing the quality reporting for 35 million patient visits across the U.S. and everything from neonatology to radiology, emergency medicine, hospitalist medicine, uh, anesthesiology. Did that for five years. And now the last 18 months, I've been working in the venture capital and startup world. Awesome. Tell us a little about Vitruvia. What does it do? Great question. The name Vitruvia comes from Da Vinci's uh, Vitruvian Man, Vitruvian Man, Symmetry and Full Motion. Vitruvia is a regenerative medicine company that's now in its fourth year. Beautiful. Your audience would be someone who needs help with treatment for chronic and acute soft tissue injuries. Is that right? Pretty close, Michelle. Good guess. What we've been doing for the last four years, I joined the company about 18 months ago as an advisor. One of our co-founders, Avi Gotham, is like me by training an anesthesiologist. And he began to think about chronic pain and fascial plane injuries and acute soft tissue injuries differently. Over the last four years, we've treated about 1,200 patients, uh, a great many of them professional athletes or High volume stage performers, by high volume stage performers, I mean people who are on stage 200 plus nights a year. And over the course of this time, we've developed our own proprietary ultrasound system called ScarMap that lets us look at tissue pliability. And what we found is that many individuals with chronic pain have fascial plane injuries where their nerves have been entrapped, which leads to pain and decreased function and decreased range of motion. And once we identify that with ultrasound guidance, since I've joined the company, I'm segregating all the data by uh, body part, initial problem, and then their post care. I can tell you at a high level, we treated athletes who were injured and gone on to play literally the next day in major professional sports. But we're now taking all that data to give it a much more quantitative number as opposed to a qualitative impression. Who are your competitors? Well, we're doing something very different. At Vitruvia, what we're using, once we've used our proprietary trademarked ultrasound system to locate where the pathology exists, we're doing hydrodissection. We're taking a very small needle, imagine a long bee stinger, not very wide, long, narrow. We go and we hydrodissect that scar tissue or rehydrate that soft tissue injury. As we separate those scar tissues, you create raw surfaces. But what we do is we're using umbilical membrane proteins to lead to tissue regeneration. A lot of people want umbilical membrane protein therapy with stem cell or PRP, which are also in the regenerative medicine space, but are really more ideal. They're great therapies, but I think they're more for joints. For soft tissue injury, what we're doing with umbilical membrane proteins is really pretty unique. The protein contains over 150 different cellular messengers, lots of different types of growth factors, interleukin, interferons, 
And this leads to tissue regeneration. And once the tissue has been regenerated, you get restoration of normal function. Beautiful. In terms of the regenerative approach to treatment, how many patients have you have and how effective has it been? Yeah, great question. For the last four years, we have treated over 1,200 patients. Again, many of them athletic names that you would readily recognize or high volume stage performers. We've done 3,000 procedures with uh, absolutely outstanding clinical results. When someone comes in to see us, any of our clients, they see one of our physicians and they undergo the normal history and physical as you would if you saw uh, any physician. In addition, we then do our ultrasounding scar map and we give that tissue a pliability score And of course, pliability of tissue is what allows you a full range of motion and a full range of function. We're in the process of also adding a pre-intervention LIDAR scan with a partner to Mm -hmm. do full range of motion exercises pre and post, which is then going to allow us to match people to an AI-driven physical therapy program, very specific For their injury. One of the things that's important to us is not just treating our clients and making them better, but teaching them new biomechanics because all these injuries that occur almost always come from misaligned biomechanics, which we all have. And so we want to make them better and restore that range of motion, but then give them the instruction they need to make modifications in their routines to minimize the recurrence. Uh, of injury. We have preventive plans as well for each patient. Yes, that's a- absolutely you know part of our enhanced approach that we're taking now is, as we're growing out the company and the brand to sites. We currently, our flagship clinic is in Miami, and then we also have a clinic in mm-hmm. Los Angeles in the Beverly Hills area. But as we seek to expand this, we want that client and journey to be all-encompassing where we, they get all of their pre-injury, pre-treatment data. But then more importantly, they get very specific post-treatment exercises and changes in their lifestyle and biomechanics so that they don't have to come back. I really don't want any recurrent clients. I want everybody to do well and go forward. Mm-hmm. Obviously, some people are going to continue bad habits or professional athletes are going to continue to get uh, but injured. But in general, we'd like people to... Uh, go through our treatment program. Usually we have found over the last four years, most people require two treatments. Occasionally people with long-term chronic injuries may need a few more treatments to fully get uh, regeneration of their tissues. Nice. What is your plans for the future? Say in about two years, five years, and then 10 years. Wow. (laughs) <laughs> if I were really good at 10 years, I think you and I would go to Monaco and, and we play at Chemin de Fer, right? But I think if we talk about <laughs> two years, our plans, Michelle, are over the next 18 to 24 months, we have the following plans. Um, as I said, we have our flagship clinic in Miami. We have a secondary clinic in Beverly Hills. We are looking to do expansion in about 10 markets across the U.S. that we're carefully targeting. Those can be a variety of combinations. They can be freestanding clinics like we have now. Uh, Co-locations with the right partners would certainly make sense when you think about some of the major athletic clubs or some of the major sports injury clinics. We're also thinking about seasonal pop-ups in places like Vail and the Hamptons where there are large concentrations of uh, highly active people during in, in a seasonal venue. This will require us to expand up to, I think, about 30 physicians to adequately staff and treat uh, what we see as a tremendous number of people who would be able to help and improve their function and quality of life. Okay, awesome. And in terms of right now, who should contact you? What kind of partnerships are you looking for? What are some of your asks and challenges that the company is facing right now? Gosh, partnerships, what a great question. If you go to our uh, website, vitruvia.co, we've got uh, information for clients. We've got information for referring MDs for potential partners. I would say anyone who's in the regenerative 
recovery industry is where I really, really see us. Certainly sports medicine clinics, a rehabilitation groups, some of the large national physical therapy groups would be a great partners for us. If somebody's really interested, I'm pretty easy to find. I have a unique last name. You can go to Google or you can go to a LinkedIn and find me and I'll be glad to reach back out. Why do you think regenerative medicine is important though? Why should people care? Really great question. 25 years ago, Michelle, if you told people you were in regenerative medicine, they would look at you like you were a kook. About 20 years ago, people started using stem cells in a variety of fashions. And it's really great for certain things like joints. There are other areas where it's used or results weren't that good. Then about 12 years ago, people started doing PRP. And, and again, very good for some things and not for others. And so this whole concept of regeneration is really important. And where you are in Northern California, I mean, Stanford has an entire uh, division devoted to regenerative medicine. So it's become very mainstream. It's one thing to repair tissue. And sometimes people get injuries, broken bones, they have to be repaired. Mm -hmm. But things like fascial plane injuries and trap nerve, class three and four soft tissue injuries, that's where regenerative medicine really comes into play, regenerating those tissues back to their baseline state so that clients can return to their normal function, normal activities of daily living and, and the joyous activities that uh, make their lives complete. That is so awesome. And it's true. Is there anything that you wanted to share that I have not asked you? I appreciate the opportunity to chat with you today. Again, as I said, a lot of people see regenerative medicine. Historically, it was pretty fringe. It's become very mainstream. Mm -hmm. What we're doing is uh, very unique using umbilical membrane proteins, which are really the fundamental building blocks of life to do regenerative medicine. We can't treat everybody who we see. If your ultrasound scan and your range of motion analysis doesn't show it's something we can treat, uh, we're not going to do that. But we can certainly, there's certainly a lot of people out there with chronic musculoskeletal injuries or, or acute soft tissue injuries who are ideal candidates. Awesome. And in terms of your growth and community. Do you have a big community? How do you grow your community? Do you find them excited? Well, we find them very excited. We've just started doing net promoter scoring with our company and the results are pretty stunning. Everyone who we treat really becomes a pretty strong advocate for us. And as you noted on the website, there are many very famous individuals who are gracious in, um, in publicly endorsing us. And these, these are the kind of people whose endorsements you can't buy because they don't really need any money, they're endorsing us because they believe in it. We see that community growing. I do think we should probably create more of a, a blog for people who've been treated. That's not a focus that, that we've had, but with our growing social media presence and followers, uh, I think that keeping that long-term contact with our clients is, is really important and probably part of the next phase uh, of our growth. I think that's a great, great suggestion. Thank you. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. What is one piece of advice that you have for the community? I would say be open to non-traditional interventions. Many times people are told, well, you've got a chronic injury and you've got to live with it. Medicine is rapidly evolving. When I was in medical school, which was a while ago, uh, it used to say knowledge doubled every seven years in healthcare. And uh, now they say knowledge in the medical literature doubles every 90 to 120 days, if not quicker. When you hear about something like this, don't be dismissive. Come, let us take a look at you. Again, we don't treat everyone who we see because they're not in the right profile to get a good result, but no one should live with a limitation, a chronic pain, or lack of full range of motion. Beautiful. Thank you. That's great advice. If you are sick and you've seen a doctor and you want to explore regenerative medicine for your chronic illness, definitely check out the website because it might be awesome. It could change your life and just kind of be open to exploring. Thank you, Juro. Thank you, Michelle. Really enjoyed chatting with you today. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye now.